All right, in this video, we're gonna see how to actually make my Yeti coffee mug, which isn't as simple as a typical mug because it has a taper in the design. So if we look at this image here, we can see that there are, it's not really a perfect straight cylinder coming up here. It's kind of like a tapered in, and then we eventually get into a larger cylinder. So we're actually going to start with the paraboloid. So let's grab our paraboloid and I'm gonna rotate it around so the cone is actually down and I'm not super concerned with specific dimensions uh, in this model. We're just going for the more aesthetic shape here. So I'm gonna scale this guy up and then we're actually gonna use a clear whole cylinder to cut the bottom off of our paraboloid. So I'm just gonna make this significantly larger than the paraboloid and put it right where we want to start using. So this whole bottom part of the paraboloid is not actually super useful to us. So let's actually group these two together to now give us this rounded but tapered starting point. I'm gonna scale this down a little bit. So this is gonna serve as the bottom of our mug. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to duplicate this guy make it a little bit bigger and lift it and smush it here. So what I'm trying to do is give us a tapered bevel like so. So now we have our base and our bevel and we're just gonna use the line tools to make sure that they're centered, which they are. And now I'm gonna grab a cylinder and I wanna look at what the outer measurements are of this bevel. We're gonna make it a nice even number like 43 by 43. And I'm gonna set my cylinder to be 43 by 43. Again, these aren't specific measurements to an actual real Yeti mug. We're just going for aesthetic design here. And we're gonna drag our new cylinder on top and use our line tool to center all of this together. Now, if I just select everything here, what I want to do is I just want to lift this guy up just so it's right on top. We're going to select everything and group it. It's going to make a solid shape. And let's go for our dark orange, which we can mix as a custom color here, just like so. And I think that's looking pretty good. If we look at our photo again, that's a good base shape. I think we can actually pull this whole thing and make it a little bit taller, like so. All right, we're gonna add a couple chrome rings. So I'm gonna grab a couple extra cylinders. I'm gonna make this guy be 43 by 43 and flatten them. And we're gonna lift this all the way up to the top here and just center all of our shapes. And let's make it a nice light gray. And we need another one at the bottom. So I'm just gonna duplicate this, move it down to the work plane, and we're gonna scale it down so it is the size of our bottom ring. Let's see. I wanna pull this in. perfect measurement to match like so. And we're just gonna lift this mug up so it's now sitting on top of the chrome ring on the bottom. All right, we're gonna select all this, all of our shapes here, and we're gonna hit group, and then check the multicolor box to keep this multicolored, like so. Now we're going to duplicate this whole Yeti, set it to be a hole and make it just a little bit smaller proportionally. So I held shift while I did that. I'm gonna lift it up right about here. And we're gonna use our line tool to center this clear center shell with the outer guy. 
and hit group. And that's now gonna hollow out our Yeti with the appropriate taper. Now for the lid, we're gonna grab another cylinder. And I know that the outer measurement's 43. Let's see if we make this guy 40 by 40. Flatten down a little bit. Just lift this up. And we're gonna use our align tool. Like so. We'll drop this in. And we'll add a little bit of a bevel. If I zoom here, you'll be able to see what the bevel's doing. So we're gonna add a bit of a bevel. So we're kind of tapering our edge a bit. And we're gonna set this guy to be transparent. And now we have to just cut our opening for the drinking slot here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a box that's set to be a hole. And we're just gonna step up a radius. So we give ourselves kind of a rounded drinking slot here. And we're gonna lift this all the way up to the lid and just scale it down a bit and bring it right to the edge and group that with our lid. So now we have this nice opening. Now we're gonna grab another box with another radius here and again, lift it up to the lid. This is actually gonna be the slot though. So we're not gonna cut all the way through with this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up So it's actually above, and let's step a radius down here a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower this just so it just starts to overlap with our lid. And we're just gonna move this guy over so it lines up with our opening like that. And let's actually duplicate this real quick so we have a spare and you'll see why in a second. Now we're gonna group this. So that gave us a little bit of a slot. You know what, I want it to be a deeper slot. So I'm actually gonna ungroup it and move this guy down a little bit. All right, let's group that. So we have our slot here. And the reason that we duplicate this is now we have a spare. So if I flatten this guy out, we're gonna make it a solid and make it black. This is now gonna be the opening mouthpiece. And here we go. So now it's gonna fit in our slot perfectly. I'm actually gonna duplicate it again. And we're gonna lift it up here a little bit. The mouthpiece kinda of has a little flip switch here, which we can group together. And there we go. I believe that sums up my Yeti mug. Just make the mouthpiece cover the opening like slow. And there we go. That is my Yeti coffee mug in Tinkercad.